I was way beyond Asia, in Central Europe. The place was Hungary, beginning at the capital Budapest, which straddles that famous blue river, the Danube. And here are my travelling companions, a group of travel agents from Thailand. We were about to be sequestered together for a week, with no one but Karoy, our driver, to show us the way. Our first barrier was the language. No one speaks Thai or Hungarian outside those respective countries, so a few key words were essential. Thank you. Gozunum. Gozunum. Delicious. Pinum. Beautiful. Junjuru. Big Thai Yai. That means big red chili. In fact, good food is good fare in anyone's language. <laughs> Look like a Tom Yam Kong in Thailand or Tom Kha maybe. I know something like phenom is mean delicious. And that's true. I think we've been having so many Hungarian meals and it seems that everybody enjoyed it, like the taste of the food. And I think it's nice. And no meal is complete without some Hungarian wine. Drunk, of course, while a gypsy band plays along. A little bit fruity and it has some kind of fresh sweetness afterward, after you swallow it and it lingers in your mouth and it's not too heavy and I think it's just right for a day like this, for this kind of white wine. You can enjoy the, especially the wine, very good, very good wine with a cheap, cheap price. Hungarian character is more like, you know, Fun loving people, very friendly, more like a, you know, they have gypsy blood in, you know, themselves. They are more, almost like nomad. They want uh, to experience this uh, life and new uh, adventures in life, and they always like to meet like people, other people. It makes sense that wine lovers should travel to the historic town of Ege. This is the home of Egri Bikover, the famous bull's blood wine. These vats are filled with it. These cellar shelves are overflowing. I toured one cool musty cellar below the town, trying my best to get lost in here for a while. There are five kilometres of wine cellars in this area and another 150 kilometres of tunnels underneath the town of Eger itself. If you're lucky enough to get lost in here, you certainly won't die of thirst. Imagine working here. I was the chief bottler here in 1968 and I actually bottled most of these myself. What else does a Thai traveller want to see? Well, in Eger, there's the past, the narrow cobbled streets, the cathedrals and museums and castle battlements. Walk the walls of history. It was on these fortress walls during the 16th century that Hungary reclaimed its heritage, repelling and finally conquering the Turkish invaders. The Turks left behind some impressive monuments and, of course, the Turkish bath. Hungary is famous for its treatment spas.
our water is very, very good for rheumatism, for respiratory disease, and for, for stress. Hmm, I can see what he means. Any good tour of Hungary will take you to the famous bend in the Danube, Visegrad, also known for its handicrafts. Look, the quality is good. You can hear it, right? <laughs> the charming town of Chopron. A stop for a mass. Before embarking again for the calm banks of Lake Bolaton, Central Europe's largest body of water. Now, every trip calls for a little action. There's golf, of course, but Hungary offers something a little more thrilling. Take a carriage ride into the wilds. This is, after all, the land of the Huns. These are the famous Pushto horsemen. Gypsy backgrounds, handy with a whip. It was then back to Budapest. Much of Budapest's historic architecture was severely damaged during the Second World War and then simply ignored through years of communist rule. But as affluence and tourism have increased, the layers of neglect have slowly been chipped away and the city has rediscovered its charm. off the tour with a visit to Parliament House and champagne on the balcony. The only thing left to do after our whirlwind visit was to climb off the bus and onto the plane. Hungary behind us, home before us. And the coach seats hadn't changed at all. Yeah. Time to go home. 